Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. I'm Jacob. I'm Jonah. Huh? Whoa. What? How did you wow. get in here? <laughs> I snuck in through the back door. You got to lock that stuff. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Jonah Scott is here, voice actor extraordinaire. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Hey, uh, my name is Jonah Scott. I'm a voice actor for uh, video games, anime, commercials, you know, pretty much anything under the sun that needs me to speak into a microphone. Uh, but recently you might know me from Dying Light 2 that came out. I voice the main character Aiden Caldwell in that. I also voice many anime characters of note in the English dubs. Tatsu the Immortal Dragon in Way of the House Husband. I voice uh, Legoshi in Beastars, uh, Joe in Skate the Infinity... Um, Raiden in 86, Raiden Sugar, a bunch of others. Go look it up. Today is about drawing, though. You're in freaking everything, dude. Yeah, what's up with that? What the hell? They pepper me everywhere. <laughs> Can I just say, I mentioned to my dad that we were recording with you, and oh he has been watching Way of the House Husband, and he oh. said, you should make him do the voice. And I was like, okay, but I'll tell him it was for you. All right. His name is Karina's dad. Yeah, this is for Karina's dad. <laughs> this is a cameo. I hope Karina's dad's got everything nice and picked up. <laughs> Make sure to wash with vinegar and lemon juice, but don't mix. What is it? What is it? What makes uh, mustard gas? Vinegar and bleach? Is that what it is? No, no, I, no, no I'm not telling you how to make mustard gas. Be careful with household chemicals. <laughs> there you go, dad. Don't make mustard gas. Thanks. I think it's, a, it's ammonia. It's ammonia and, and bleach. bleach. There you go, yeah. kids. <laughs> Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. But what's good is wow. is doing a droppy prompt based on Dying Light 2 and also the anime that Jonah has voiced in. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to yeah. be zombifying and post apocalyptifying some, some of Jonah's characters. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Who should we start with? Nathan is first. I'm gonna draw first. Okay. Do you have a an anime boy in mind that you would like to see zombified? We'll save the anthropomorphism for for later. How about we just do a normal a normal boy? Let's do. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's. What about Joe from Skate? Joe. Joe from Skate. You know, big ripped boy. Yeah. yeah beautiful. A beautiful ripped, strong boy. <laughs> what's a what's a post apocalyptic like weapon that's just like in every game that you just have to have? A skateboard. A st <laughs> skateboard, yeah, beat the zombie over the head with a skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, just like in Skate. Adam's skateboard would be good for <laughs> gore yes. zombies oh, yeah. with. I feel like most skateboards are the same in, in shape, <laughs> general properties. That one's long. It's got, you can get a good, put a lot of English on yeah, that. Yeah, it's arranged. <laughs> so there's a thing that Joe does in a recent episode that I watched <laughs> that I... I wanted I just kind of want to see how that would look as a as a zombie doing it. Um, oh, is this the press up thing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I see the shoulder. I see it. Oh, where, he, it. <laughs> where he just he just sort of goes like this yeah. on the skateboard. He gets and long. I think he gets a he get, little he just, wacky. <laughs> it just it's really good is the thing. It's cool in concept, but it also was kind of cringe to see. Aerodynamic. I saw him getting down on the board, and I'm like, what are you doing? This is the he wrong won't. sport. He won't. He's not going to do a put. He is. Oh, my God. That's what the muscles are for. They're for holding onto a skateboard and holding yourself perfectly yes. horizontally. Yeah. Yeah. Horizontal. Just phew. Yeah. Look how long that boy is. He's got a yeah. comet's long. tail. Yeah. What if he grows a tail? Oh, God. He's, he, he's become simian in nature. Yeah. A zombie tail. I don't think yeah. zombies get tails typically, but. Yeah. Are we going to have the tail fursona argument again but this time we're adding zombies onto the quadrant <laughs> yeah i guess so hey there's mutations and all kinds of crazy crap that happens once you once you get viruses involved so uh who, who knows yeah that's true maybe it's a special zombie virus that makes you into a cat girl <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Honey, I can't. You got to take care of me. You got to. I'm turning. Yeah, I'm turning. 
yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if if Shaun of the Dead can do like a what do they call it a zom rom com, you can do a you can do a zombie <laughs> anime with cat girls. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm surprised it doesn't exist. I mean, there's already a zombie idol anime. That's close. Yeah, that's close. It's not Getting quite warm. there, but it's only a matter of time. Night of the Living Nyas. <laughs> yeah. So is that is yeah. that what I'm doing? Is that oh, is, he a, is he a cat <laughs> girl lost now? The track here, didn't we? Is he? I mean, that's up to you, Nathan. That's this what we your... do yeah, here, this is... Jonah. <laughs> this is inspiring. Lose the thread. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's do some zombie <laughs> stuff. You can make him make him kind of zombie. A receding yeah. gum line. He should yeah. floss. Mm -hmm. These these sort of like, <laughs> just sort of holes that happen on the cheeks because you're just so excited to be chomping on brains you don't even care how big your mouth is open y'all ever get chapped lips so bad where if you like smile or yawn to any extent your lips just kind of like like yeah. crack open and that you start to, oh, yeah. it's rough that's <laughs> the worst but if you're a zombie you don't even care about that yeah no <laughs> like, like it doesn't no matter problem. anymore i'm a cat girl now <laughs> i'm a cat girl meow meow <laughs> <laughs> i'm a cat girl meow <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I do want you to know, Jonah, that Joe is my favorite skate character. Oh, I'm honored. Because Thank I'm, you. I'm always drawn. And, <laughs> and we true. are watching the dub, too. It's, yeah. It's the show that we all yeah. watch together. So you should know, we've been watching it, but we only watch it together. So we still yeah. have two episodes? You have a collective consciousness of it. It's more like only one person has a Funimation account. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been there. It's okay. We have one, uh, what is it, uh, Chromecast, and we, we use yeah. it between all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Pass it's, the, around. it's the friend who can drive. It's the friend <laughs> yeah. who can By our stream powers anime combined, legally. We are one fully functioning adult. <laughs> I like how he's got, he's got the cat ears. Oh, God. <laughs> he has this like wasting cheeks and like these sunken eyes, but he has a perfectly coiffed pompadour and like head of oh, hair. Oh, yeah. You gotta. When you're drawing anime boys, the hair is the defining feature. It is wicked important. Yeah. If I can't see their perfectly color coordinated hair, how am I supposed to know what their deal is? What? This guy's got brown hair? I can't even tell what kind of character he is. Yeah. He's got brown <laughs> hair? What? <laughs> How am I supposed to tell if he's a main character or not? He could be anything. Yeah, be that's what I love anything. about Skate. I, I took one look at Reiki and Langa, and I was like, oh, I know exactly what's going on here. They're blue and red. <laughs> They're, bl <laughs> <laughs> you They're blue say no red. more. <laughs> I know these My color boys. theory class was right. <laughs> Oh, look at his look! You know, he looks God. like like half of Danny Phantom. He's <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> like that big trail. <laughs> what I try and do on on Drawfee and in most of my art is like find ways to avoid having to draw legs. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, I don't blame you. Yeah, like maybe. Oh, you know what? <laughs> maybe no he, legs. He just he goes just got the space like there. You have to claim the real just estate. A horse. Yeah, what if he's just... Oh, what if he's got like his guts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what if it's just... What if it's just this? Yeah. Just his, <laughs> his vertebra. I would literally yeah. rather draw a pelvis than legs. Look at him. His lunch is on the fucking tarmac. Damn. It's so sad because he's a cook too. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet it was really good. <laughs> Look at how Nathan massacred my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine this coming at you in the zombie apocalypse? At 35 miles an hour downhill? Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it's over for you, dude. <laughs> Here he comes. But with, with no legs, he can't do his, uh, you know, jump and, and then his jump. Kick off he the just wall. like trumples in a heap on the corner. <laughs> yeah, he can't do corners anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He still has big arm muscle. Yeah, the scariest zombies in a in a zombie movie are the ones that like aren't standing up, the ones that are crawling towards you, the ones that you <laughs> ki you cut in half, but are still trying to bite you. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that! Is that a tail? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, let's give it yeah. a little like. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> let's give it a little yeah. Let's, let's give, it a, give it a little meow. Give it a little meow. Yeah, yeah maybe a little meow meow. Yeah, Sprinkle a little pepper on this meow. <laughs> oh, he's got a bell too and a oh bow. My. 
God. Magical <laughs> zombie girl Joe the skateboarder. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is a thematic disaster. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm, but it's going to be I'm my just... Twitter banner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect dimensions for that. <laughs> Get some more God. viscera and stuff coming mm-hmm. out. Yes. Yes. Good. Here we go. Yeah. Good. We'll see how many jobs you lose from having this as your Twitter banner. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know oh, about man. this one, guys. <laughs> Is he going to do that with our character? <laughs> <laughs> Not everything is a zombie, Jonah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know, I'll make this look better in the render. Okay, okay. I think I think this is the concept Gosh. here. Catboy, zombie, Joe. This it's is beautiful. Great. Uh, it is very scary. The longer yeah. I think it, about it, it, yeah, it's it's pretty in with like a bunch of with some with a little bit of color. That's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. Yeah, <laughs> like his vein, like veins upon his forehead and biceps. It will pop. Yeah, <laughs> Nathan, make it pop in the render, please. I'm gonna yeah. listen. The render <laughs> has you... faded in, and it's it's popping. It's Everybody, popping. look at that. Agrees. <laughs> I, yeah. I even I even added in the tattoo that I didn't sketch in. <laughs> right, right. Oh, you better remember that. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna look so stupid if you don't remember. That. <laughs> no, here's the thing. I'll just cut that audio <laughs> if I don't remember it. There you go. Well, thank you, thank you for this wonderful yeah. prompt it's... and for and for voicing this wonderful character. Thank you for showing sharing your skills with me. It's beautiful. <laughs> And there's more where that came from. Yeah. It's, it's my time to be the one who massacres a beautiful boy, and I'm ready to do it. Let's see. who, who Who's next? I think... Hold on. I have to, like... I have to... Let me, let me go to my own IMDB and look and see who is remaining. All right. Here's a good one that might be fairly simple. What about S- Sniper Mask? Do you know who Sniper Mask is? What I don't know who Sniper, sniper Mask, mask is. <laughs> what about Sniper Mask? He don't have to draw a face because he's wearing a mask, but he generally just wears a salaryman suit, um, and he's got like a hat, uh, and he's, oh, he's just, he snipes. He's from High Rise Invasion. Okay, I think we're going to go with like, like a, a post-apocalyptic, because he's got like all these guns and stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I point. think he'll, he'll be, be fine. He'd be fighting zombies. <laughs> yes, for sure. I think. From the top of a rooftop. Yeah. Yeah. And so we'll, but he's going to have some like, it's going to be like battle worn sniper mask. Yeah. Grizzled. <laughs> Grizzled. So like his, his mask is going to be like, you know, broken from the battle bottom. damage sniper mask. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look for it now at Toys R Us. Yeah, it's your new skin in League of Legends. <laughs> that was a, a more timely reference. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Find it now at Toys R Us with your favorite giraffe friend, Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> He's there. He's, He's not waiting. dead. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. He's waiting he came for back you. in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. They brought him back. Brought why, have him you, back. why have you forsaken him? He's waiting for you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe we'll do this. It cracked at the eye hole here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. I like it. That's money. (laughs) It is money. Thank you. And the best part is anime boy eyes. Ain't got to draw that crap. That highly detailed sparkliness. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, thank you. Just avoid. Well, yeah, you you gave me that out just by being a zombie. Yeah, he doesn't have any eyes. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, maybe I do want to get like a little bit of eye. In this, okay. Like, oh, okay. Wow. I don't know Hard what his mode. face looks like. Do you ever? Do you ever know what his face looks like? Uh, yes. Uh, spoilers, but yes, you. He does. <gasps> at, at some point in the manga, he does take his mask off, and you do learn what he looks like. The spoiler yeah. itself is what he does look like. But yeah, I'm just. Gonna, He's just. Spoiler um, alert. He looks pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna make it up. Do it. Sure. What color hair? Uh, black. Oh, hmm. yeah. Like I said, he's pretty boring. <laughs> it's a, it's it's a big buildup, and you're just like, oh, okay, well, it's just, it's all right. it's just a guy. <laughs> but he's hot for some reason because he's got to be. Of course, he's. Everybody comments on how hot he is. A character's just like 500 times hotter when they're masked most of the time. That's true. Kakashi, yeah, hot. yeah. Oh. He's just a guy, but he's so hot. Freaking Go Gojo. Put that thing over Gojo's eyes. All of a sudden, yeah, he's right? the hottest dude in anime. <laughs> what uh, question? I have a I have a zombie question for you guys. Okay. Rar. Mummies. 
Are they zombies? Um, are mummies zombies? They are undead, but they're like right? like curse based, right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's a more uh, religion hokey based. pokey. But like, yeah. if you do, if you go for like voodoo kind of zombies, those are also kind of religion slash curse based, right? So, mm. it the 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 Venn diagram there is uh, some some, some a, serious overlap. That's a good point. It's a subject of debate at <laughs> ZombieCon. You know whether <laughs> yeah. the mummies get to get to be included. Then you got vampires, also undead. What do you do about that situation? <laughs> but they have like a a life and stuff. They care. <laughs> They have a life. They have a mortgage. <laughs> they have a mortgage. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, qualifier. Vampires, <laughs> vampires own property. Yeah. yeah. If a mummy got a mortgage, it would become a vampire. <laughs> Duh. I voice. I also voice a vampire uh, <gasps> in in Elder Scrolls Online. I, I and he has a he has a very thick British accent. Oh, do you have a good British accent? Mm-hmm. Yes. Can, can you break us off a piece? Oh, of course. His name is Count Verandus Ravenwatch, and he is the matriarch. Well, that's not rather patriarch of a uh, clan of vampires, the uh, the Ravenwatch um, clan, and he, he has friends and family. I think um, Robbie Damon plays one of my subordinates, <laughs> one of my thralls. Um, Damn. But it's, it's great. He's 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 sexy. Yeah. Blood or not, I love you all. Do you ever get tempted to just talk like that permanently? I do. In fact, on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Jonas Scoot, I have a, a point redeem where if you, if, you, if you stick around long enough, you can redeem some points and I'll speak exclusively in a British accent for like five minutes. Great. That's, that's awesome. Wow, we should Hell do yeah. that. You guys do really good British accents. <laughs> yeah, you can listen to us do our, our closest attempt at a, at a British accent. Hello, Droffy fans. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, are you what's ready going on? to see a drawing? Oi, bruv. <laughs> Thank you for the points. <laughs> the bits. The bits <laughs> and the subs. <laughs> Please, chat, may we have some more? <laughs> Hello, I'm not. I says my, my British accent. <laughs> <laughs> the view count is plummeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go sub to Jonas Scott right now. <laughs> yeah, they all leave Jirafi and go yeah, straight to... Yeah, Jonah Scoot, like my Neopet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is your Neopet named after Jonah Scott? <gasps> I'm <No>. honored. <laughs> <laughs> He's named after Scott McCall, duh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that was stupid of me to ask. <laughs> yeah, idiot. <laughs> It's just cool people change Scott to Scoot. That's yeah. Just, that's yeah. just something cool people You want to know do. a fun story behind that? So uh-huh. I own twitch.tv slash Jonah Scott. However, it is from a college email that I no longer have like access to. <laughs> and I wasn't going to like, I couldn't be, I couldn't be screwed to like go and ask my college to re like invigorate my email. So I'm just like, oh, you know what? Screw it. Twitch.tv slash Jonah Scoot. Why not? It's close enough. Just <laughs> start over. You got to embrace your shape, like, oh, okay? It's cute, right? It's cute. That's why you picked it. No, it's because I'm just lazy. That's why I picked it. Because I'm That's stupid. <laughs> so relatable. Like yep. most things. Nah, just, just accept it. Just accept who you are. I got a friend request from my high school principal the other week, which in it of itself is really weird. Yeah. But my yeah. profile picture on Facebook is the one where I am leaning on Nathan's shoulder, but I photoshopped him out and, and replaced him with Seto Kaiba. So like, I hope you like that one, buddy. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. I should really change that. <laughs> so I have I have a statistic here that uh, has the most popular zombie fiction by country. Oh, okay. And the most popular zombie fiction in Japan, can anybody guess? What like the narrative, the the, the fiction, what 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 main IP is the most popular zombie IP in Japan? Resident Evil? No, that's number four. Okay. Hmm. Um, High School of the Dead. You got it, buddy. Hey, <laughs> that's <nerd>. number one. <laughs> Let's go. Pretty crazy. It is. Uh, Resident Evil is actually number two in the United States. Number one is Night of the Living Dead. Mm. Oh, sure. Because you wouldn't. Um. Oh, that's not. That's not. Hello. Get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jacob? Are you being good at art again? My Photoshop got a little weird. It decided I should use a, a tool I've literally never interacted with before. Are you sure of... you don't want to use this? 
I know. <laughs> this, is, this, is our, this is our secret weapon. <laughs> like, you you got to try this thing, man. <laughs> Check this, this out. <laughs> Are you sitting down? I hope so. <laughs> Crashes. <laughs> I put myself into draw a gun hell. Oh, God. Uh, just draw a gun. That's just like a lot of artists with draw a mech hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's even worse. A mech is like a big humanoid gun. Yeah. <laughs> you, have to, you have to do anatomy, but what if the anatomy was guns? Yeah, yeah. right? A and it has to look, and everybody's truly. seen a gun, so you all, everyone's gonna be like, you know, that doesn't look like a gun, even though I <laughs> never seen a gun in my life in real life, but I've seen guns in fiction, and that ain't a gun. That's a gun to me, though. I think that's a gun. Yeah, yeah. it's got it, the it's handle. It's a gun to me. Yeah. There's a handle, there's a trigger, yeah. there's a place for bullets. That's a gun to me. <laughs> there's a barrel. Yeah. You got a scrungy little lad who has really bad trigger discipline, Jacob. Well, yeah, right? getting ready to shoot. Oh my god. Yeah, there's he's gonna shoot a zomboid. <laughs> there's freaking zombies everywhere. This is like a I'm just gonna be like a post apocalyptic, you know, cityscape back yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's in really gonna pop. It's gonna pop in the render. Get in, loser. We're gonna go shoot some zombies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> His poor suit. His nice suit is all tattered and torn. That's how it is. Yeah. That's how it is. And, you know, grew so out sad. the hair a bit. I have read over and over, and, and as a matter of fact, on the back of my toilet right now, I have the uh, <laughs> Max Brooks Zombie Survival Guide. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the one of the like cardinal Behind the sins. Toilet, just yeah, in you, case. No, you know, you, sometimes you need it. Sometimes you can't go to like a random Wikipedia article on your phone. You just want to like <laughs> read up on some zombie lore. But he is breaking several cardinal sins. You have to. The first thing you should do in a zombie apocalypse is shave your head because oh. uh, when when zombies or, or put it put your hair under a hat or something like that because when zombies are gripping oh, at you and grasping at you, grab. it's just yeah. more stuff to grab. Yeah, yeah. tight clothes. Sense. Um. You want to uh, make sure you have like a blade of some kind because those don't need to be reloaded. Oh, uh, I'm I, I'm ready to go. I got a bug out bag under my bed. Like I'm I'm good to go. Sniper mask was not ready to go. Yeah. No, but he's got he's got like, he comes from the Indiana uh, the Indiana Jones school of killing shit. So you know just some distance <laughs> yeah. and you're good to go. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, I think it's also important to look cool in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And there is an intimidation that. factor there. Yeah, because everybody knows <laughs> that like obviously shaving your head that that's playing on easy mode the fact that he's yeah. made it this far with the long hair that's like oh he's he's really good it's my yeah. badge of pride single butter never gets in five feet of me <laughs> yeah yeah wow. well i'm done this is this is him he looks Everyone great agrees. this is he yeah he is fantastic <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like him. He's for I you. I love the beard. <laughs> it looks like he got he got too like ripped too. So he just like kind of busted out of his suit a little bit. Yeah, he never he never took it off. No. <laughs> he, he did that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the zombies didn't get close. He's a never nude. <laughs> he just got really into working out in the post apocalypse because there's not much to do. <laughs> It's beautiful. And he tripped. He tripped and fell and broke his own mask. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is actually day two of the apocalypse. <laughs> he has yet to encounter a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. I, I like that fiction more than the one we've built over the past. <laughs> yeah, that's the new canon for sure. It's good. Day two. I'm already out of chewing gum. <laughs> Okay, this one is going to be, I think, special. Yeah, bring it home. Because I have two characters that are very similar in personalities and like uh, aesthetics and uh, emotions. And funny enough, it's probably two of the most popular ones. Aiden from Dying Light 2 and Legoshi. They're loners. They're both edgelords. I was <laughs> thinking, what if they met each other? <laughs> what if they met? What if they met? I don't know. Let's make Aiden and Legoshi meet. Okay. Let's put them together okay. in a room. Let's put them together. <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Only one's making it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, because I am very familiar with Lagoshi. Aiden, <laughs> fun fun fact, uh, Aiden is modeled and referenced after my face. Oh my um, god. Whoa, that's I so cool. I was, I was not 3D scanned. We didn't have the time to do that. Uh, I was <laughs> I was busy doing marketing and stuff, but uh, they took my headshots and, and, and pictures of me and they used that as a reference for Aiden's like actual 3D model. Wow. So uh, he's got shorter hair than I do. Um, but you should be able to find a, a good reference online. Let's find yeah. a good, good picture. He just a guy. No offense. There. Yeah, he's just a dude. No, he's just a dude. He is. He is uh, a first-person action RPG protagonist, which means he is a projection for anybody who wants to play. Uh, okay. You can put yourself on Aiden, and you're yeah. you are him. <laughs> Congrats, <I'm> Aiden. <laughs> you're, you're Jonas Scott now. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. Aiden Dying Light too. <laughs> no, voice I'm is Aiden your Dying voice. Light too. His voice is my voice too. Okay. <laughs> Only he you has can say like, that. He has like a human visage, but he does have the cool little mask and hood hoodie. Yes, he does. He's got he's okay. got a, okay. a an N95 and a, a hoodie on. I I was very surprised playing the game how many references that they uh, an inspiration I guess that they took from the actual like COVID pandemic. They took that and it's like, wear a mask and it's like, look at, get, get, get vaccinated, stand six feet apart from each other. And it felt, it made me playing the game. I felt it wasn't uncomfortable, but I was like, this is like, this is eerie. I haven't seen a game do this yet, like at all, yeah. because it was being developed during the pandemic. So they, and it was all aesthetic things, pretty easy to implement. But uh, yeah, it, it was, it's, it was really real and very grounded and felt very good. But um, Aiden, doesn't always wear his mask, but that's not because he's already, oh he's already infected. Oh my god! <laughs> and there was a, there was a vaccine too. Like it it, it, it just works. Whoa! <laughs> that's what I want in my video game is to yeah. be reminded. Of yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> my escape. We're dishing out is... a lot of great ad advice this episode. <laughs> yes to trigger discipline. No to, <laughs> to mustard <laughs> gas. <laughs> wear a mask. <laughs> Also, jump off of buildings and yeah. uh, paraglide from building to building. Parkour. Uh, parkour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, be sure to say parkour. You got to say parkour yeah. when you do it. Otherwise, it's not parkour. Yeah, otherwise, it's not safe. It's just jumping. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's just jumping with style. <laughs> okay. What would... Oh, my God. What would he... What would they do? All I got in my head is that <laughs> hello Lagoshi from B Stars. <laughs> hello Aiden from I want Aiden. Light Aiden too. should say something like, Did you just say a woo? <laughs> okay. Yeah, would he be concerned by the fact that he's meeting like a humanoid wolf man? <laughs> wow, Are the virus really did mutate, didn't it? <laughs> a furry? <laughs> or a B star. <laughs> what exactly is a furry? <laughs> Yeah. Can you explain can, this to me? I'm trying yeah, to be accepting. Explain it to me. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just a wolf. I'm just an actual wolf. <laughs> I'm just a little wolf. <laughs> uh, you know, a woo. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf. You're a lone wolf. Yeah. What is happening here? <laughs> hey. <laughs> and then they'd probably be like, whoa, we sound really similar. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of wild. Like really similar. Like... <laughs> Like the same voice, almost. <laughs> Except a Aiden is probably more of a. Uh, I call. <laughs> uh huh. I call uh, Aiden. Aiden uses his inhaler a lot. He has an inhaler in the game to like uh, keep his infection at bay. And uh, oh, every time wow. he uses his inhaler, I say he inhales hopium because the game is just about <laughs> hope. It's like about being <laughs> hopeful and um, in, in, the, in the darkest of times, it's set in the, the modern dark ages. So, you know, everybody poops in the street and, you know, all kinds of crazy dark age crap. <laughs> gotta um, have hope. <laughs> but you gotta have hope when you poop in the street. Um, yeah, so, yeah, dude, we it's, know uh, we live in New York. And Aiden... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Central Park. Yeah. What? Y'all never had someone poop in front of you? <laughs> oh, it's just a Monday. <laughs> While you're trying to go to Dwayne Reed? <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> is there a plot twist in the game where he, he hits his inhaler and it was replaced with copium instead? <laughs> oh, man. And then he's just like, we're just going to have to deal with this crap, guys. <laughs> No, it's gonna be I'm fine. Sorry. It's gonna be fine. Gonna Literally, millions we of people are dead. We, we're just gonna. This is how we're. This is our life now. There is no moving <laughs> forward. Sorry. <laughs> Who switched my inhaler? 
<laughs> hey, I needed that. <laughs> it's just a zombie standing in the corner, like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and the zombie strikes. He's got a point, you know. <laughs> Jonah, is this like your your first like game lead role, or have you done other? Yeah, it is. Uh, Aiden is my first lead role in a video game. I've been working on this game for like like five and a half, six years almost. Wow, and it was yeah. a funny funny way of, of going about like getting cast I, I was working on the game about five years ago I got brought on to do temp voices um, for like a bunch of characters so I would do scratch vocals while I was out here um, in, in my in my closet I would record scratch vocals for like timing cutscenes and things because this game wasn't made like the last of us or any sort of like super mega ultra high budget western film that's a game kind of thing it was yeah. it was it's a localization kind of like a jrpg is so i had to time out cutscenes and make sure everything worked in english the lingua franca and i knew what the game was like i'm a gamer i'm not an idiot they sent me the sides and i read through everything and i'm like you referenced the first game which is one of my favorite games and like i beat this game five times like i get this i know what i know what this is so i told the director who uh got me the gig i'm like hey dude whatever you can do to tell these producers that i know what they want i know what this game is going to be the sequel to like i understand everything they're not hiding anything from me i i can do a good job like um so he's like okay i'll see what i can do and he sent the i'm a gamer Um, so he sends emails back and we got stuff back from the producer and then we were doing like efforts and things like that so we had the producer online during this effort session and i was in my closet right so i have this bar that i hang my clothes from in my closet and i'm short I'm like I'm like five six, so I can stand in my closet and still like hang on to this bar. And I'm doing efforts, and they're like parkour efforts. So he's hanging on a ledge, and I turn my camera on from my computer, and I'm like, "Hey, Mr. Producer, look how dedicated I am." I hang from my bar. Gonna do parkour in the closet. my clothing bar, and I'm just like, "Oh, look at this! Is like real, actual stuff. You know, I'm doing. I'm I'm dedicated. You know, and." <laughs> and he like he, he's he's he speaks polish and he's he he understands what i'm saying he, he understands english um but like he's like okay yeah you're you're, you're dedicated look at that that's great way to go and i'm just like i ruined it i screwed it up i, I screwed this all up i didn't hear anything for six months so yeah, i was like was oh my it. god no i totally screwed this up um I book Lego she I do I I I I basically like you know could write this off as a lost cause and I'm like I'm gonna be replaced by a celebrity or something you know just a you know, better better <laughs> marketing whatever, um and then I get uh I, I get I get an agent and I'm like okay this is my last shot right so I told I tell my agent hey dude could you maybe send an email to Techland because I may or may not voice the main character in this game, please just send them an email and ask and he's like oh, okay dude. The next day, they're like, you have a session next week. Um, you're going to start recording for the game uh, in within the month. Whoa. And I got I literally cried when I got the email. <laughs> uh, I, this is it was, it was very important to me for many reasons. But um, this, yeah. it, it, I, I put my entire heart and soul into performing this character. Yeah. And the response to Aiden as a character has been overwhelmingly positive. People absolutely yeah. love the voice. They That's love awesome. the character. Uh, they love his story. Um, they, they. I'm, I'm so flattered um, that people like my performance. And it's all because of the, the closet bar. It's all because of the closet bar, man. <laughs> you gotta frame that shit. I, I, yeah, I framed. <laughs> I put it in a shadow box. This is the <laughs> bar that got me the gig. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it's a literally a dream come true. I, there's no other Hell way yeah. to put it. Yay. That's so awesome. Congratulations, man. Thank you, guys. And now he gets to meet Lagoshi. Yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> My other favorite lone wolf boy. <laughs> All happening. My favorite virgin. <laughs> <laughs> They're. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but I don't, Aiden doesn't have to be a virgin. <laughs> He can be. He can, he can be. be. <laughs> we call if that the Lagoshi the right route. Choices. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the like virgin percent speedrun category. <laughs> AGDQ. <laughs> Finish the game as fast as you can without having sex. <laughs> without having sex. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the purity run. I guess that's most speed runs don't involve having sex in the game. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the majority of them I don't think do. But I mean, 
if there's one thing I know about this freaking show, it's we're really good at manifesting things. So you know what? I will look out for it. Yeah. <laughs> Gamers. There you go. <laughs> Gamers. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, I got to play this game because I've been hearing nothing but great things about it from everybody. My, one of my favorite parts is uh, if you guys ever played Mirror's Edge. Yeah, I did. The parkour and, and Mirror's Edge Catalyst. The parkour is is inspired by Mirror's Edge in that it is very momentum based. So the more you run, the more momentum you have, the further you can jump, the higher you can jump. Um, and you can mitigate that kind of thing by like d deciding how high you jump and, and you press and hold. And it's very fluid. Um, and the entire map is designed to be this gigantic parkour jungle gym. Cool. The game does a really good job of like easing you into it too and figuring out the mechanics and making sure you're good. And by the end of the game, don't want to spoil too much, but by the end of the game, you're pretty much post-apocalyptic zombie Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. <laughs> it's pretty freaking neat. What more do you want in a game? Right? Yeah. The game that makes you feel like <laughs> Stop you <laughs> making games. <laughs> Dying Light 2 is the Dark Souls of making you feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you were a games journalist. <laughs> <laughs> what can't you do? <laughs> Just kidding, games journalist. I love you. Yeah, you're valid yeah, too. Come great. back. Come back. Y'all are great if you credit if you credit me correctly, y'all are fine. <laughs> If you have any complaints, let us know in the comments yeah, down below. Let us know in the comments below, please. One word at a time. Thank you. <laughs> if you have any complaints, click the subscribe button. Yeah, yeah. that way we'll know. That way we'll know. <laughs> Each subscriber equal one complaint. Yeah. Support at drawfee.com. <laughs> this yeah. video had a little something for everyone. <laughs> Nine out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I love this expression, Karina. I do too. He's <laughs> gonna just say he's like, it looks very surprised. I'm gonna give Lagoshi a, a gun. <laughs> what is a human? Lagunshi. 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 <laughs> what do I do with this? <laughs> they have yes. guns in B Stars. Louis has one. Yeah, Louis's got a Glock. Yeah. <laughs> when he goes, Dad, sign my permission slip. That's a fun that's a fun thing. It's so weird. Okay, you ready for this? There are no <laughs> guns in Dying Light 2. Oh. There are no guns in Dying Light 2. There are makeshift okay. weapons, there are improvised boomsticks, there are crossbows, there are bows and arrows, but there are no guns. But there okay. are guns in B stars. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> So <laughs> Lagoshi has a gun and Aiden's like, what the hell is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that boomstick? <laughs> the layers to this actually. Causing micro, micro explosions. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. You telling me that propels lead at hundreds of miles an hour? So there aren't guns. No guns. Interesting. Uh, there is an in-universe reason as to why there are no guns. There are things that are just as good as guns, though. You get the, uh, depending on your choices in the game, the choices are a huge, uh, like, part of the game. You can basically dictate where the narrative is going to go. And uh, based on your choices, you can get this sick semi-automatic crossbow. And it's like, Ooh. it's rad. Um, oh, you can fun. get elemental bolts and stuff for it. Um, it, it. It's really friggin' strong. And there's a lot of Easter egg weapons, too, that are pretty much, it's like, it'll scratch the same itch. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll get a crossbow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, give Lagoshi yeah, a crossbow. Are there crossbows in B stars? That's the new uh, question. I mean, there have, are. Goheen has a crossbow. Gone. Yeah, yeah. Goheen's oh got a crossbow. God. Yeah, you probably shot it at Lagoshi for fun. Because <laughs> he felt like it. <laughs> They've got it all in B stars. Oh, well, maybe I should give him a little parkour outfit too. Yeah. Oh. The yeah. drip. The drip in Dying Light 2 is fresh. I do like his little layered hoodie. I love a good layered hoodie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every outfit you get is just so aesthetic. Yeah. I will be buying the game then. <laughs> you just had to say there's fashions. And I'll, yeah, I'll it is. It's game. like this post-apocalyptic parkour jogger Jonah, Jonah, fashion. I'm not a gamer. Is there a pet simulator in this? <laughs> okay, I will say this, but uh, you can pet the dog. Yeah. Oh shit! Yay. Tell you Tristan. Are to pet the dog. <laughs> yeah. Did you know, Jonah, that it's our friend Tristan who runs that account? No way. <laughs> yeah. He's a former a former coworker of ours. I will say there is a bit of a twist to petting the dog, but you can't Ooh. pet the dog. 
Interesting. Oh, the dog pets you. <laughs> yeah, the dog is Lagoshi. <laughs> <laughs> There's one dog and it is Lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> you have to find him. <laughs> oh no, I like think it. I think I'm spoiling the game. <laughs> it goes a little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lagoshi reacting to being pet. Did you just, uh, did you just pet me? You're supposed to go like with the fur. Doing it against the fur is not it's not kosher. <laughs> it's coarse. That's why I growled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was not, it's not it's not you, that though. you pet me, it was the the technique oh, yeah. that you used. I've made a mistake. What's what does a crossbow look like? Oh shit! <laughs> it's like a regular bow, but turned on its side. Yeah, and then there's a big beam in the middle. I don't know what a regular bow looks like. <laughs> it's sort of like a semicircle. <laughs> there's like a curve part and a straight part. I know. I spent three years part. drawing nothing but Hanzo from Overwatch, but that doesn't mean I know what a weapon looks like. Shut up! Oh man, <laughs> Hanzo's bow is super high tech, though. Yeah. Just draw that, but then add a bar. Yeah. Just make it like a it. pipe and two pieces of wood and a string. <laughs> they made this crossbow. Oh, speaking of no guns, I forgot. And like in like weapon design in Dying Light, there is okay. There is a gun in Dying Light, but it is a gun that is taped to a pipe, and it's called a gun hammer. <laughs> it's just like this like glock that's been taped to this pipe and then you like beat somebody with the butt end of the gun there is no ammo in it it doesn't work it's just like an empty gun it's okay. hilarious i that's like amazing. that that's my kind of apocalypse weapon let me see if i can yeah, find a picture fun. of it actually yeah show gun hammer please <laughs> can i uh send gun hammer pics <laughs> Jonah getting all these DMs to send gun pics, please. <laughs> you could also just draw like a box and write crossbow on it. And... Yeah, this, is, this is our placeholder crossbow. Yeah, I've done that. I always do that. Yeah, you can crossbow and post. There it is. I found a picture of it. Ugh. This is the splash icon of it, but you get the, you get the gist of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, so so when you hold it the barrel is pointed at you <laughs> but there's no ammo in it i think right yeah it's but <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> that means it's safe <laughs> yeah it's just you're, you're hitting someone with the gun just the, but, pointing yeah. you just get right more back leverage at you. from the pipe <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's really fun they have uh the, the the dying light developers have a lot of fun um they are one of the one of, one of the developers that put like the most Easter eggs in the games that they make. There was an entire recording session that I did and I came in and they're like, I was like, what are we doing today, guys? And it was just Easter eggs. The entire four hour session I was recording uh, Easter eggs for the game. So, um, and most of the videos that I've seen on YouTube are people like talking about the Easter eggs and stuff. So they're, they're great. great. They're fantastic. There's a, there's a Beastars Easter egg even. A Beaster egg? A Beaster egg. A Beaster egg. egg. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> There's a, a big billboard um, in like an in-universe, uh, like like an in-universe restaurant chain called uh -huh. uh, Queenie's Buns, and the mascot is a a bunny, uh, a big old rabbit, and the slogan of the Queenie's Buns is "Eat my buns." <laughs> That's great. She's just holding these buns as a little rabbit. It's great, fun, fun things. I like it when things are fun. This is such a funny. This is like, it's a really good composition. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they, they just like looking at each other. Like, I love it. Like she's like, uh -huh. His voice is the same as mine. Yeah. I swear he sounds just like me. Does he have like a filter in his mask that makes him sound like that? Or is that actually what he's, I don't know. It looks like Aiden gave him the crossbow and is now. Yeah, right. You know how to shoot that thing? Uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> You know how to shoot that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> good, good dialogue, Chris. Thank it's you. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> this rules. I should do this little that thing. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is precious. Oh my gosh. He's, he's my precious little virgin. He's got the drip. <laughs> I love you, King. <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect. I think, is this, 
Where this are is. they? I think that's it. Uh, I've seen very little of like the gameplay, but you you're like you're like in buildings and stuff, right? Like you hide out places, yeah. You're yeah, in a parkour yeah. playground. Yeah, I guess you could also just be on a roof. <laughs> that's where too. parkour happens. Uh, I'm piecing it together. <laughs> We're 15 years into the end of the world. If that helps. Yeah. Um, yeah, tell the developers that I would like if they added like this pet simulator <laughs> into the game. I'm, I'll get on it. They're, they're very open to suggestions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where you have to raise Lagoshi <laughs> <laughs> and teach him how to shoot a crossbow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and kill people. <laughs> Lagoshi, you know how to drop kick? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'll teach you. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Aiden is like an actual edge lord, and Legoshi's just like a poser as edge lord. <laughs> yeah, totally. I've lived in the end of the world. Um, I tried to eat a bunny one time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Felt bad about it though. I'm going through puberty. <laughs> I went through puberty during the end of the world. <laughs> That's his visual novel. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Puberty during the end of the world. This is great, Karina. The, di- the dialogue is my favorite part, I think. <laughs> so good. You want to shoot that? Um, no. <laughs> of course. Of I'm course. assuming it's a trigger involved. <laughs> yeah, Lagoshi does have proper trigger discipline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Dad, I learned. <laughs> wow. Oh, like man. masked sniper. <laughs> yeah, unlike Mask Sniper, who just <laughs> it's always pressed. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> care <laughs> he just at holds all. it. <laughs> I'm afraid to shoot anything in front of me. <laughs> Well, Jonah, thank you so much for joining us on this episode, giving us these anime boys. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for drawing the anime boys and the post-apocalyptic boys and the, you know, boys on skateboards that have their guts hanging out. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of boys. All kinds of boys. (laughs) Top three boys. An episode for all boys. An episode for all boys. (laughs) Good and bad. Is there anything you'd like to shout out to people before we get into the end bit of our episode? Sure, yeah. Um, I stream uh, most weekdays uh, after 5 p.m. So if you want to come watch me stream, I play pretty much everything. Games I'm in, games I'm not. We do chatting streams. I, I clean my room. I fold my clothes. I, you know, We do cooking and stuff like that on my stream. It's, it's, it's wild. It's just basically my life. That's at uh, twitch.tv slash Jonah Scoot, J-O-N-A-H-S-C-O-O-T. You can also follow me on Twitter at I'm Mr. Transistor. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I need to really shout out. And watch all the shows Jonah's been in. Watch all the shows I'm in. You can, yeah. find, them, you can find them on uh, on Twitter. I'll announce all the roles that I'm in, things like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks, guys. This was a blast. Yeah. This was so much fun. Yeah, thanks so much for coming on. I'm thanks glad for that doing we, it. Um, of course. Ha- happened to do, <laughs> to put you in an episode against your will so that we could then... <laughs> Uh, meet you and do an episode with you. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. It's funny how that works. Flawless strategy. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. And if you like what we do, you're gonna want to hit the like and subscribe. Uh, yeah. And it, the more subscribes we get, the more Lagoshi learns how to use the crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, but I think we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can also support us on Patreon. Patreon.com/slash/Drawfee. Mm-hmm. And if you have good trigger discipline then we stream every monday night <laughs> seven only if you have good trigger discipline though otherwise yeah. they don't yeah. but yeah. if you don't you should tune in anyway and maybe you'll learn mm. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two i think from us on our stream. <laughs> yeah we're definitely really smart and uh intelligible on our twitch stream just like our merch yeah, if you want some cool shirts to wear while you parkour around the zombie apocalypse, check out our merch store. That's it. We're that's, that's it. That's it. That's a wrap. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry.